Welcome to Edinburgh, Scotland. I'm here for about a week and a half. I kind of ended up here like last minute and kind of weird because there were very few good flights out of Dubrovnik, Croatia, where I just came from. And one of the places that did have good flights was Edinburgh. And I was like, I haven't really heard too much about this. But as soon as I mentioned it, I kept hearing really good things. A lot of people like rave about it. I feel like it's a very underrated city. So I'm excited to show you guys and to be here. But here we go. Just made it into my Airbnb and this place looks perfect. Here's the super cute living room. This is actually really big. I'm out of breath because I just walked up like 10 flights of stairs. Cute little bookshelf. And then look at this kitchen. I feel like this looks way better in real life than it did in the photos. Nice and actually bigger than I thought. And there's a washer, hell yeah. Cute pots and pans, you know. So excited to have some fall leaves. Here's the shower, separate from the bath, or from the toilet. Full length mirror. Here's the toilet and then here's the bedroom. Look at this view with the fall. So much fall happening. And this will be a really good filming spot too. Perfect natural light right here. Cute rug. I have Taco Bell delivery coming. It's been a while without some Mexican food in my life, okay? Listen, it's okay, you can judge me. I'm judging myself. I'm sitting here working. Fireworks start going off and then I see a mouse <laughs> run full speed across the room into the bathroom and then run right back. So now there's a mouse in here. All right, good morning. So I just made my coffee as you saw. I'm like sitting there. First of all, when I woke up, my right arm, I was like, ooh, I like really pulled something like right here, but I could still use somebody like made the coffee, whatever. And then I went to see if they had an umbrella in the closet and I like pulled the door open. And now I can't move my arm. It's gonna be interesting. Pulled it, I don't know. I have a walking tour. This is my first day. I'm excited to see things. This is the cute new phone case I got. I actually really like the little ring thing. Left hand in it, baby. This reminds me of right before I had my neck surgery <laughs> where my right arm was completely numb. So I filmed a video doing my makeup with my left hand. So I was psycho and couldn't miss a video. I just it feels so weird. I wish I was totally ambidextrous. I feel like that would be such a useful skill. It's funny because I thought I packed so good for this whole three month like different seasons trip. I've been in like every climate possible. Definitely did not. I don't have like a middle jacket or anything with the hood. I have that sweater or I have like a full down jacket, but that's like Boston kind of weather. So pack middle jacket, moral of the story. So I'm gonna wear this and then find something with a hood to like put underneath it. Okay, we are ready to roll. Ugh, oh, I'm feeling like the cozy fall vibes. Cheers. shitty but that was a really fun afternoon i did the walking tour and i ended up meeting three other solo travelers that were all women i went to lunch with one of them got some fish and chips and the walking tour i did was the just a free walking tour and then you just like tip them at the end it gets dark so early here like at i think at like 4 p.m and that's only a couple hours away now so i don't know if i'm gonna make it back out before it gets dark i might have like a work night in get some stuff done actually tomorrow I'm filming a video. I have to go like 45 minutes away. I'm doing the makeover video. I didn't realize the makeup artist was like that far away, but that's okay. I'm excited for it. You guys will be seeing it probably before this vlog, I think. Actually this one, I have a videographer I hired who's gonna help shoot it. So it's kind of nice because I don't have to stress about getting all the camera shots because this one is gonna be hair and makeup. So it should be fun.
lovely day. Shot the makeover video yesterday. Romped around, went to two different museums. Then I met up with a girl from, she messaged me on Instagram and she lives here now. Her and her husband moved here or like they're on like a six month visa kind of thing. And they're from Oregon. And so we met up and that was so lovely and so nice to just like chat with someone doing the same thing. We just like really hit it off. She's great. Her name's Rachel. It's just like a very full day and I'm feeling good. Halloumi, it is so cheap here, by the way. A whole thing of halloumi was like three euro. And then having it with some spinach, melon, and cherry tomatoes. A little breakfast slash lunch. Yum, this looks so good. If you've ever had grilled halloumi, like fried halloumi, you have to. It's popular in other countries, not in the US. Super underrated. So good, I'm like drooling. Okay, I just tried a TikTok thing that like actually worked. I don't know if you can quite tell, but basically you like do the inverted, like you do half up and then you do the flip. I'll link the TikTok down below I'm talking about. And then it just gives you a bunch of volume up here because it's like flipped inside out. I think it actually looks pretty good. See how from the side, it just gives you more volume. Wow, a TikTok thing that worked. <laughs> here it is from the front. I just did, curled my bangs with the flat iron. I just finished filming part of a video. I had to do just like the sit down portion. It's going up this week, so I'm gonna get that edited later. But right now, let me just sh show you outside right now. It is sunny. Look at that clear blue skies. So definitely gonna go take advantage of this sun right now and then I'll come back and edit later once it's dark. So the jacket I brought is the Eddie Bauer down jacket that I wore in Boston. And I love this because it's like super warm, but it's not too poofy. It's still like kind of slim and it has like the cute fur hood and stuff. Bag. These apparently are discontinued and mine are like breaking now because I've had them for like two years and I wear them literally almost every day and walk like miles and miles in them. The platform Nikes, they're so comfy once you break them in, but I think I'm gonna do the castle. Such a lovely like half day out. I went and did the castle, went inside. You do have to pay, that's like the one thing you, one museum kind of thing you have to pay for here. All the museums are completely free for everyone. And also there's really good things if you're a student, you get free transportation and stuff, along with, you know, healthcare, education. Anyways, if I can get this friggin' purse off, this reminds me of the TikTok I made. What the <laughs> Should have done my mom's method. Did a little bit of shopping and then I found this good Asian restaurant and now it's about 6 p.m. Lay down and edit. I need to finish this video. It's going up in a few days, so it's the makeover video. I freaking love Edinburgh. You don't hear that many things about it, which I don't know why because it's like such an amazing city. And if you do mention it to someone who's been, they're like, oh my God, that's my favorite city. And I get it. It's just like very, I don't know. It has like a Pacific Northwest vibe. It's super green. It's like hilly. You have the old town, which is like charming cobblestone. Feels like you're in Harry Potter or something. And then you have the new town. It's nice and like spread out. It has everything you need, like good shopping, good restaurants, easy to walk around. You can walk pretty much everywhere because it's not that big and there's good public transportation. Like just feels like a very livable city. I get it. I did look up the visa situation for here because I was curious and it's hard to get a visa here. You can live here for six months though on a tourist visa, which seems kind of crazy. That's like the longest I think I've heard. Six months on a tourist visa, but then you have to leave. So if you want to permanently move here, you have to either be a student, get employed by a Scottish company, or maybe just UK company, or marry someone. Uh, I think my option is number three, <laughs> marry someone. Just has a good vibe to it. And it's just super nice how you can still fly like pretty much everywhere within a couple hours, like in Europe, like all the places I'd want to 
go and travel to and it's like under a hundred bucks to do that. I don't know, could be here for six months and then like in the Schengen territories for six months. Okay, need to edit. So here's a little haul of what I picked up yesterday at Primark and Boots. Those are the two places I went. I am clearly back in my neon phase. Okay, it's either neutrals or neons, that's it. Look how cute this sweater is. It has like the, I don't know what you call that, under boob thing, that's what I call it. For the prices, you can just estimate it's about the same right now as US dollars. So Primark is so cheap in the one on Prince's Street. Oh my God, it's huge. They had like a massive home section, Christmas decor, makeup. So if you're here, highly recommend going to both that and the boots. Both of them were ginormous. I got jeggings because these were, I think 350. I also got black leggings in case those don't work and I'll just probably return the one that doesn't fit. This clip is massive. I liked that it's like the pearly white, looks like the Hailey Bieber nails, you know? I've been wearing clips like almost every day, so gonna get my use out of that. I wanted to do a little sheet mask. Haven't had done a face mask in a while, so that looked fun. Oh, this is a boots one. I uh, got nail clippers because I somehow lost mine. Okay, this was very exciting because this is, I wanna say this is like $40 in the US and this was 10 pounds the dripping gold tanner and medium really excited to try this all the tanners were so cheap literally like i i don't love isle of paradise but isle of paradise vita liberata they were like around ten dollars basically ten fifteen dollars apparently on instagram you guys were saying you can always get them on sale cheaper these look right up my alley love a good half lash i have been looking for this friggin thing for literally since it came out now they only had this shade the other one was like kind of open but i didn't care two beanies to wear because it's getting freaking cold here and i'm also off to two other places that are cold so i'll definitely get my my use out of these these are really soft haven't tried these on but both beanies were 350 now they're <laughs> neon i've been freezing in this apartment so these are in the kids section actually but they're gonna fit. They are Grinch and I wanted to get in the Christmas spirit. They just feel really cozy and they have like little grips on the bottom. And I needed eyeliner and I wanted to try the Revolution Renaissance Flick waterproof liner. This was five pounds. And then I picked up a couple little things at Primark to try. Their waterline eyeliner, it's just like a matte cream color. This was one pound and then a brow pencil, which was two. And a nail file. Also managed to lose that somewhere. I just filmed it for Instagram stories, so I didn't vlog it, but I just put on, not put it away, the new e.l.f. <laughs> glow stuff underneath with the Tula over top to lighten it a little bit right now, because right now I don't have any tanner on, it's like worn off. So I had to lighten my face after the e.l.f. The e.l.f. definitely has light coverage. It is beautiful. I like it more than the Charlotte Tilbury. I understand the hype, I've worn it twice now. I almost don't need anything over top. Like if I didn't need to lighten my face, I could have just left it at that if you want like a super glowy finish. Okay, here's what the e.l.f. with the Tula over top looks like. Once the rest of my makeup's done. The glow from this definitely comes through, but Tula is also very glowy. I got my nails done and they look so nice. It's a hard gel, so it's just my real nails with hard gel. Dark brown, feel in fall, and I just realized that I have laundry that's been <laughs> sitting in here all day. Let's hang this up. So if you've never seen this before, here's what the UK, I think most of the UK has these. I've definitely seen them in London, but you pull it down and this is what you hang your clothes on. Which is really nice because then it doesn't take up any room. You just pull it up to the ceiling. Personally, big fan of this method. You can still get out, A plus. Going on a date. And the real lovely thing about going on a date in the winter is you literally don't have to try it all. Wearing a poofy down jacket, yoga pants. This is the life, you know? I'm into the, the winter date scene or fall, whatever heck season we're in. <laughs>
I've had a pretty interesting um, first half of the day here. The Wi-Fi friggin' is horrible here. What I've heard from you guys is like the Wi-Fi in the UK in general is pretty slow, but Edinburgh is like real bad for some reason. So I went to Starbucks this morning thinking like, oh, that'll be fast. No, it said it was gonna be 99 hours to upload a YouTube video. I usually have the T-Mobile international data. It hasn't been an issue anywhere. I can get around totally fine. Just like connects with the local carrier. I think I'd been using so much data because the Wi-Fi was here that they like throttled me down or whatever because I couldn't even get any Wi-Fi, couldn't get an Uber. So I walked until I found a taxi it's sunday morning it was super early so there were like no cars on the road no people finally got lucky and got a taxi so i went to the one coffee shop that i knew had really fast wi-fi which is called brew lab you need fast wi-fi here go to brew lab went to brew lab they have a 90 minute limit on their tables i luckily convinced the guy to let me stay i was like look i'm like real desperate here I kept ordering things, so, you know, tipped them well, but hold on, I'm putting this down, my arm's getting sore. Then I had to figure out the data situation for my cell phone because that also like went out at the same time. I researched, I asked you guys on Instagram, I tried Hula Fly, it was horrible. You guys, I've been going in circles today with this whole thing, but I finally figured out, okay, what is it even called? Ar Arlo, Arlo, I'll put it on the screen here. International data, an e-SIM card. The new iPhone doesn't have a ver uh, actual SIM card. So I tried to like go in a store and buy a SIM card. You can't do that because it's an e-SIM. So this one is working. It's on international data and it was only 15 bucks for five gigabytes. Nothing to do with the whole upload issue. This is just like have data on my phone. You can just choose which country you're going to get an e-SIM if you need one. So recommend this so far it's working and a lot of you on instagram said really good things about it now it's like <laughs> almost one o'clock i can't believe i've been doing this since 7 30 in the morning anyways i'm gonna figure this shit out just did the dishes boiling some eggs over here i'm in a hard boiled egg phase i feel like the last few months they're just filling and good just cleaned off this table because i think i'm gonna film a video today like a sit down video make up one suitcases are coming out because it is already that time it's time to pack up i leave tomorrow morning actually tomorrow like afternoon but i'm gonna head to the airport early and just work so starting to get everything put away can't believe i'm already leaving like guys it really does make a difference there's a reason i that so brow this is it feels like it. i just showered i am gonna wash my hair later tonight before i head to the next city i get there with fresh hair and don't have to worry about it you know 